Hello, I'm Meredith Sheldon in the WUFT Newsroom. For Friday, April 8th, here's your news in 90. Secretary of State John Kerry made an unannounced stop in Baghdad today to meet Iraqi leaders and to discuss the fight against ISIS. He will gather with the Prime Minister and other top Iraqi officials to make military gains against ISIS during Iraq's political uncertainty. At the same time, the Pentagon is considering building more small military outposts to help Iraqi forces as they prepare to retake Mosul. Authorities in Texas are currently searching for the burglars who stole more than 40 weapons from an Arlington gun store early Thursday. Surveillance cameras show the thieves using a rock to break the store's window and then proceeding to grab as many guns as they could carry. Arlington police said the thieves got away in a black Ford F-150. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is aiding the investigation and search for the suspects. Colombia's highest court paved the way for same-sex couples to marry in the conservative Roman Catholic nation yesterday. Gay couples celebrated the decision outside the constitutional court in the country's capital of Bogota. A new ruling reflecting the majority opinion that such practice is discriminatory is expected to be approved in the coming weeks. Only a few Latin American countries allow gay and lesbian couples to marry, including Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. Pope Francis released his 256-page document today addressing divorce and the complexities of family life. His document, The Joy of Love, insists that the individual conscience should be the guiding principle for Catholics negotiating family matters. Francis made no change in the church doctrine, but he strongly rejected the notion of black and white roles for Catholics. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.